In this video, we are going to focus on logarithmic functions. So, we start. Laws of logarithms. Okay, so these are some of the laws of logarithmic functions. So, the product of A and B is equal to the sum of log A plus log B. So, for example, if you have a log of 2 by 3, this is equivalent to the log of 2 plus the log of 3. This is what it means. Uh, second law of logarithms that we should be able to remember whenever we are dealing with uh, logarithms, we should not but log of a divided by log of b is actually equivalent to log of a, which is the numerator, subtracted the log of b, the denominator. The third one, log a. Okay, the power n is actually equal to n log a. So this simply means this n is dropped, this n. Okay, so now that we know the basics, laws, logarithmic functions, we can move on. Okay, what else do we need to know under logarithmic functions? So an expression written like this, a should be the base. A is known as the base. So it can be 10, it can be 2, or any base. Okay? Then any log that has got a base of 10 can also be written as LG. So this is also known as what? Common, common logarithms. Okay? So common logarithms. So whenever you see the word common logarithms, they're talking about a, a, a logarithmic function which has got a base 10. Okay. Whether you see this, just know that it has got a base of 10. Then, any logarithmic function that has got a base to be the exponent e is actually, can be written to be n. So whenever you see n, is, you can also see this on your calculator. So it simply means the base is E. Okay? So these are known as natural log. Natural logs. Okay? Natural logarithmic functions. Okay? So take note of that. It's very important. Okay? We we'll look at some examples of logarithmic functions. So we we'll get to, to discover more laws as we look at examples. So given that, so that was supposed to be log of the base is actually 3, then 9. So how do we evaluate this? So this can be, so we can raise uh, the 9, okay, we can write it in exponent form. So we know 9 is equivalent to 3 to the power 2, okay. So from the law that we've looked at, these two can be dropped, okay. And this will appear to be log of 3, 3. So the 2 is dropped to this end. Okay? So whenever we have something like this, a, when the base is equal to the number on top, this is equivalent to 1. Okay? So whenever you have got the same base with the number it is actually 1. So in this case, log 3 base 3 is equal to 1. So therefore, our answer will mean to be 2. So note that whenever you have got the same base, this is equal to 1. So 1 by 2 is actually 2. Okay, so we've discovered another law. Take note of this. Whenever you see the same base with a number, it's actually equal to 1. Okay? B, uh, log 10, 10. So, that was supposed to be base 10. Log 10, 10. So, I'm from talking about this. Whenever we've got the same base with a given number, it's actually equal to 1. 
So therefore, the answer is one. Then C. Okay, we have log. We've got our base to be 16. Okay, which is uh, log base 16, then 8. How do we get to answer such a question? So, I'll introduce another law, which is uh, something like this. Log A, given that A is a base, and this is equal to x. So this can also be written to be a will become will go this side and become the base. So it will be b is equal to a will substitute x and x will become the power. Okay. So if we apply the same procedure to what we have been given, say law of uh, eight and base sixteen. We equate this to any data of which our choice, so we can use x. So this can be a to remain this side, then 16 will become the base on the other end, the power x. Okay, so this is a common exponent fraction that we are all aware of. Okay, let me just put some space here. So we can come up with a common base. So therefore, 8 can be written to 2 to the power 3. Then 16 is 2 to the power 4. Okay. So remember, so remember we have the power on top, which is x. Okay. So this will be 2 to the power 3. Equivalent to 2 to the power 4x. Okay, since the base is the same, we can equate 4x to 3. And when you divide by 4, we have x to be equal to 3 over 4. Okay. That is our x. So, therefore, this function is actually equal to 3 over 4. So, number two, write log of 30, log of 450 in terms of log 2, log 3, and log 5 to any base. So, from the laws of logarithmic functions, what we've discovered, we're going to use them to write this into the given uh, logs, log 2, log 3, and log 5. So, I start with A, log of 30, log of 30, okay? So remember that log of 30 is actually the product of 3 by 10. Okay. But we know that 10 is also a product of what? Log of... So 10 is a product of 2 and 5. So it will be 3 times 2 by 5. This is going to give us 30. So, from the laws of logarithmic functions, when you've got multiplication, you can introduce addition. So, therefore, our answer is going to be log of 3 plus log of 2 plus log of 5. Okay, so we've written our answer in terms of log 2, log 3, and log 5. Then B, log 450. So equally, we need to write this in terms of products. Okay, so we can move slowly. Before we can even write it in terms of logarithms, we can say, you know, log, sorry, we know 450 can be written as product of, uh, you know how many times can 50 go into 450, it's actually 9 times, so this is the same as uh, 9 by uh, 50, okay, but we know 50 is also a product of uh, 25, which is 5 by 5, so it will be 9. 50 can be 
a product of 25, which is known as 5 by 5 by 2. Okay. So I can get some more space. So we've got 9 by 5 by 5 by 2. That will give us 450. But we need to reduce this to that. Okay, so we can see we have 5, 5, and 2. So we can substitute now. So log 450 is actually going to be log of 9 times 5 times 5 times 2. Okay. So from this point, we can continue from the top. So we're going to have... So we know whenever we have multiplication, we can come up with addition. So it will be log 9 plus log 5 plus log 5 plus log 2. So notice that we don't, from the question, they don't want 9. So we can come up with something like log can come up with 3, then let it to a power 2. Plus log of 5. Plus log of 5. So we can drop our 2 from, we'll be doing two examples. It can become the product. So it will be 2 log 3. Plus, so log 5, log 5, we've got the same base we can add. So it will be 2 log 5 plus log of 2. So, so therefore, this becomes our answer. So third question, you can pause the video and try it out. So from the laws of logarithms that we've gone through, we can still attempt a question when you're given an equation. Okay? So how do we do that? So recall that the left hand side has got an addition sign and we have got the same the same basis of uh, on our log logs. So we can maintain it. Can say log. Then, since we have the same base, which is uh, 10, of course, so we can multiply these brackets. So it will be x minus 1, open brackets, x plus uh, 1. Okay? So, that is the law of logarithms. When you've got an addition, you can maintain the same log and come up with a uh, product. Okay? So, then on the other side, we can make 2 to be the power, okay? So it will be 2 log, sorry, we're making it a power. So it will be 2 uh, it will be log x plus 2 then leads to the power 2. So, when you look at the left hand side, we notice that this is a difference of two squares. So, whenever we add uh, x squared minus 1, x squared minus 1, its expansion was uh, x minus 1, x plus 1. So this, this is a difference of 2 squares. So therefore we can substitute uh, what's on top with x squared minus 1. So it becomes log uh, x squared minus 1, which is supposed to be equivalent to 
So by expansion, this will become log x squared uh, plus 4x plus 4. So when you expand this, this is x plus 2. Sorry. So it's supposed to be x plus 2, open brackets, and again, x plus 2. So when you, you expand it, it's going to give you this. Okay. So notice that the log is common. Okay. And it has got the same base, so you can cancel it out. So then we're going to have... So then we're going to have x squared minus 1. So which is supposed to be equal to x squared uh, plus 4x plus 4. So x squared is common. It can be cancelled out because when you put the additive in this, it's supposed to be cancelled out. Okay? So we we'll have negative one, and this will also cross into the other side, which will become negative four. Then it's supposed to be equal to we're going to remain with four x on this end. So this will be negative five. It's supposed to be equal to four x. So when you divide by four, both sides, our x is actually going to be equal to. negative 5 over 4, which is also equivalent to negative 1, remainder 1 over 4. Okay, so that is how you answer questions with a given equation under logarithms. So, hope previous video gave you an idea about logarithmic functions. Try to practice for those so that you are able to apply whenever you are given a question within a short period of time. So thank you very much for watching.